I came from a, a family of school teachers. The, uh, my paternal group were teachers in the early days, and I had this aunt. My, my grandfather, my rich grandfather, educated his Negro girls. Those Negroes who were born free or freed early, they had connections all around with other, and that was uh, a Memphis, Tennessee that had uh, large groups of free Negroes. And uh, she became one of the first teachers in Memphis. So after being there for a while, and she came home, and I lay a baby that didn't have a name in memory of what uh, her life there, she said, we are called a baby Memphis, Tennessee. And Memphis, Tennessee, it's been. Oh, yes, I remember my grandfather very well. I remember my grandfather up until I was about 10 or 12. And my grandfather was very old. He was 42 years in slavery. As a young man, he tried to run away. and. Of course, he was severely beaten, and he bore the marks. I used to look at them and rub my finger, cross them. And uh, that's, I think that's why I have been so interested in slavery and Negro life without knowing it. I have brought over that interest from him telling me the things. College men, they were financiers who had come in. The Guggenheims, the Conegas, the, all those people, those New Yorkers, those Astors, who, uh, they were the, those men. They were men finely dressed, and they ate at the head man's house, the man who owned this part of this pine. They were there. And my mother worked there at that house, you see. And I came up partially among those people, wherever my mother worked, I was there. She she never left me. When they hired my mama, they had members too. Miss Grace was the lady of the house. And, uh, I said, well, I came all the way here to tell you what part you played in my life. Without you, I wouldn't have been the person I am now. I wouldn't have had the education. My mother was too poor. She only made enough to eat and wear, and what was free. She said, well, I can't imagine what part I played in it. I said, you had that magnificent library. I never saw so many books in all my life, and my mother was a meticulous housekeeper, which her daughter isn't, and she would send me in to see that every bit of the dust was off those books. They had to be used by the men of the house. And I would stay so long, <laughs> she would come to see what on earth, and I'd be lying flat on the floor, I'd have read half a book, and <laughs> she sent me a letter dust. It must have been six or eight years. I read everything I could find, whether I understood it or not. I read every, English literature was easily reached, and I didn't have to get up in a chair or anything, take chances on falling or not getting the book back when I hear somebody coming. Everything, everything within my reach, I read. Consequently, when I went to high school with a memory that I had, I didn't have a textbook. She would assign so much and so much, and she'd tell me, now you go to the library. I was in Ohio then. We didn't have high school for Negroes in McDowell County when I came out the eighth grade. And I said, oh, I know that. She said, how can you know it? I am just now assigned, oh, I read that a long time ago. My mother worked for some rich white people, and they had all kinds of books, and I read it. And in order to know that I read, she'd give me an examination on it, and I'd, anything she put down there. So I never had a textbook. I was a straight-A student.
think my whole heritage, as lowly as it was, has been rich. It has done something for me, I know that. And in all these years, these 80 years, that's too bad to tell you age, isn't it? This is my 80th year. I think that I think the whole thing has sustained me. My attitude towards what I had to do and my love for children and people and the acceptance of certain things that I couldn't change, but I made the best of them. I think all that has made me, if I am anything, that. And all that has made it possible for me to set you in, perhaps, just the very fact that you found some interest. There's something, I don't know what it is, that you have that you didn't have and you're going to use. It's going to be the same way with you. You have the idea. And that's all anything that is ever was. Nothing but an idea. This house, was an, this isn't a house, this is an idea. This is an idea made visible so we can see. And within you have ideas. How right am I? So I guess all in all, that's what it is.